Yeah, it's been. So we've already done what two. Under stormy. Yeah. Hello, welcome back to Ndivu T Hi. and Pastor Bay. I am Pastor Bay, and right here next to me is Ndivu T. Yeah. So before we even move on to the next story that we want to talk about, so today at work we had an event. Um, when we were having an event, um, something touched me when we were having an event. Um, you know, like we we were talking about um like inclusiveness and uh, diversity in the um, working environment, right? And there was a uh, a statement or a question that was asked because women had a conference and they said that they don't feel that they are included in things, they are respected, they are, they are involved in things. It's like they're excluded, right? Mm. Like the same things that men would generally receive, women would not, you know? Mm. The, the same type of treatment that men would get, women would not, right? So that was the uh, uh, concern that was raised by by women you know so i i i think i was i was the second person to comment on the whole thing and i said that um unfortunately there are certain things that we call unconscious um uh, treatment uh or let me say somebody said unconscious bias but it's not unconscious bias but i was talking about unconscious treatment right mm. in such a sense that my traditions and my culture uh, uh, and cultural beliefs, they have taught me certain things about a woman, right? And I automatically adopt those things because that's how it's generally done, you know? Mm -hmm. Such that when I speak, I, I, I tend to uh, nullify the ability of women, right? I tend to disregard women without even realizing that what I'm saying is, is degrading to a woman. And unfortunately, we are living in a culture that... Um, uh, women are fighting for their rights. They are fighting for equality. They want to be recognized. They want to be at the same level with men, right? Either it be employment industry, either it be domestically, like they are fighting to be at the same level, right? So automatically, when we men with certain beliefs and certain things that we have adopted along the way start saying certain things, then it becomes unconscious because some of the times you don't intend to hurt the, 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 a woman or you don't intend to dis to respect them in a way but you end up doing so so i said we need to train our our men out there to make them realize that there are certain things that they say without thinking about it that ends up being offensive or that ends up being um masculine um you know like it ends up disrespecting women and feeling that they i mean making them feel that they are not at the level that men are in right so the, after i concluded my 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 whole um statement somebody said that um you know the reason why women in our department are not getting uh women are not getting employed in our department is because our department is a uh heavy uh in in the uh, heavy machinery department you know there's a lot of lifting there's a lot of doing this and that so uh somebody like after he said that so he said women are not being um, employed in our department because uh, they will not be able to lift certain things, you know. And somebody commented, and after that, I requested for, for me to speak again. And I said that, you know, the biggest problem is that already in your statement, you are already degrading or rather um, nullifying the, 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 um, the masculinity or rather the ability of women by simply saying that in our department mm. we believe that women cannot lift because and the next woman can say but what makes you say that i cannot lift is it because you are a man is it because i'm a woman you know so that on its own already says that a woman is not capable enough to lift something and i said to them that this is unfortunately the the stereo stereo uh what do you call it uh stereotypes stereotype that we are trying to deal with you know because you guys automatically you are doing this is what i'm referring to unconsciously you are saying that a woman cannot lift it but you don't mean harm it's maybe because of your experience at home that somebody lifts when a woman wants to lift you go and say uh, she comes to you and say can you please help me babe you know but that's unconscious but it's not a right thing to do when was your take 
about the whole thing hey i think like you said it's more of how we grew up and what we were taught mm. because i remember even the boy says that uh women must go first because they are soft mm. exactly know? so automatically my son knows or my kids knows that women are soft and sometimes they'll be like oh mommy do you want daddy to come help you lift this and i'm like mm. i can do it but like and they're like but you're a woman mm. you know it's the same thing that if say i am looking for somebody to come and work at, in the house a helper mm. i will never look at a man mm. because what it's not a man's duty mm. you know if uh if even at the restaurant i'm sure it's rare where in you would find them wanting uh cooks to be like men unless mm. if they are a professional chef or mm. they've got experience but i think it's just one of those things where in there are things that we have been taught that these are for women mm. and these are for men hence even in marriage you find that couples fight over you need to cook mm. i'm a man i don't need to cook i mean mm. i'm the provider no why don't you clean so it's it's, it's those things where in cleaning cooking soft things nje, are for women mm. and then hard and heavy things are for men mm. but also naughty women we also contribute to that because now when there's something that if they i see a spider i'm gonna say babe come kill the spider mm. then that says what a subconscious so I, I, no i can't i'm scared mm. you know so women now feel that they have to protect us mm. from that so even when they are hiring in that kind of department they're thinking of us that oh no man they won't be able to carry the machine mm, mm. they won't be able to because men wants to help women mm. it's just in their nature you certainly, know certainly. and also women wants to be helped by men and not taking away the fact that there are those women that they are capable mm. they don't need anybody's help is it like if you find the car packed by the side of the road and the, the car is the, the the wheel it's what puncher mm. whatever a man will literally just run and say can i help you mm. you know but you can never find a man with a puncher and say uh, uh, yeah exactly, exactly vice versa you know so it's just one of those things where in yes we are trying to learn to do things differently because as women we are now capable it's just like providing for our families it's no longer a man that provides for the family mm. it's also a woman but that's the thing baby or if you look at if you look at what women are, are preaching the feminists Femin are, 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 are preaching is that we have to be equal right and if you start segregating based on uh, the fact that women cannot do certain things, right? That's why we men are supposed to be part of this department. We can never hire women because or women don't want to come in there. Then indirectly, we as men are preaching a segregation without us realizing it. Yeah. Because like, especially when we are in the working industry, your home is your home. You do as you please. But in the working industry, you are there to work. You are there to work. So for the mere fact that me as a woman I'm, I'm i'm applying for a job that says that i'm expected to be working like uh heavily you know so i am actually saying that i'm going i'm willing to do whatever it takes in that department yes. and i believe that i can mm -hmm. if i fail in as much as anybody else would fail there are weak men out there so let's not make it a woman or men thing especially in the in, because the reason why I'm bringing this up is yeah, because especially in the working industry. Exactly, because women brought this up and say we don't feel included in Aww. things, and then, like I understand, women will always be, hey, please come and help me because I cannot do it. But then again, you know, we men are supposed to play a role in order to advance women to get to the level where we want them to be and yeah but don't you think also women needs to play that role like for example at work i'm sure there are women that comes to you and say come and help me carry this machine mm. you know like they signed up for the job mm. why are they now you know because then that's where in next time even when you see a heavy machine you're gonna be like no please call james and john mm. when maria and mavis are there mm, definitely they are women yeah so agree if you're crying and saying i need help then we will offer you the help right in terms of inclusiveness and all those things then you also have to play your part as well yeah you also need to be coached to understand that unfortunately if you're going to do this then it means that you are actually saying man step back i can do it myself as well you know mm -hmm. that's the message that we need to preach yeah. i just thought i should touch on it but do share your thoughts around the whole situation when it comes to feminism when it comes to equality men and women equality unfortunately it's a real thing women out there want to be involved they want to be included i think gone are those days even though i i, I personally have an issue with uh, the whole feminist um um like what concept you know i have an issue with it but it's not an issue to discuss now the only thing that i was making is the, the only point i was making was that let's try by all level best in, especially in the working industry even at home let's try and um build our women 
to feel that they also have a voice they also can do certain things and not feel like every time they are being oppressed you know yeah even with just if you've got a sister or a wife teach them how to change the tire yeah you know? exactly teach them the whatever skills and clean do certain things cook whatever that you can do do it because now equality cannot be practiced somewhere but somewhere else we are failing until next time we love you and goodbye goodbye bye